Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to bring you how we are going to be planning for our homeschool year. I will see you then. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Emma. Here we talk about homeschool, motherhood and lifestyle, anything that has to do with homeschool. If you check on my playlist, you're going to be looking at uh, curriculum reviews, a homeschool flip through the pages, as well as hauls. So if you like all of that, please don't forget to subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss any of the information. Give me thumbs up if you like this video, okay? So I just want to bring you guys with me to do a to plan our homeschool year. I think it's, uh, it's very important, especially if you're new, to kind of like give you an idea of what you're looking when you're going to plan for the year. We actually, the past year, what we did is that <laughs> we just continue. It was almost like uh, the same type of a schedule of the public school. We were continuing every day doing the subjects uh, until we finish which is uh, what we did this year I want to have another approach just because I found that it was uh, it gets to a point where we were very tired or we needed a break and it was just not working that well for us I worked outside so it, the schedule that I am planning on using for this year, I think will work best for us and will give me as well a little bit of a <laughs> freedom uh, in certain aspects and give you give us time to, to decompress uh, from everything as well as to go take trips and, and, and take the time not to only be on the books but outside as well. So what I am doing is I just print these papers uh, from the website from online from especially from this website. Let me just is a Saturday gift and she has very beautiful uh, calendars and I print on from August until I think until May. And then I didn't find uh, July, so I print July from papertraildesign.com. And that is how it looks. Sorry about the glare. So I decided to use these pages. I do have a planner, uh, but I always do and plan outside of that planner just because it gives me a, a better idea prior I start. Uh, using the planner as well I print these uh, pages here and I will be showing you guys that in just one second <laughs> I print these pages here as well from Saturday gift that has the year at glance and then I think this one was from another website I can remember exactly from where it was but it's another one that we are going to be using just because I couldn't find a uh, pass 2021 on Saturday gift website so that's what I will be doing uh, the way I am planning on utilizing these sheets is just I look at the at, at, at the curriculum I look at the programs and depends on the program if it's a program where I am not going to be utilizing their scope and sequence I will be making our own thing I just start uh, calculating in here how long it will take us and I usually what I do is I just grab color pencils or if you have a pen or a marker whichever is easier for you and I just start tracing lines and separating from the weeks that we are going to be having off and the weeks that we are going to be working for our uh, schedule for our, for those subjects so i just start looking in here and i start marking with different colors depends on the subject and usually i try to <laughs> put them kind of level with the color of the program outside and that way i can remember and it's easy for me and it's easy for him as well when he tries to look into something or find something i will be doing the 
our year with six weeks on one week off at least for most of the of the year there's going to be always a week where or a month where it will be seven weeks and then one week off there's certain uh, holidays that we don't celebrate i will be using my planner to look at those holidays and then they're in here and uh and that way it'll be easy for me but that's how i am planning on doing this so i will just take you guys i will switch the camera and take you guys to work this year for us okay i will see you okay you guys so you can either grab a pencil or a pen i have my friction here i usually like to do it with a pen but for this time i am not going to do that i am going to do with the i am going to be writing with a pencil just because i am not quite sure <laughs> And I would like to, if I have to erase something, I would like it to be easy for me. So I, I, we will start on August and usually I start around the 2nd. Uh, and I try as much as I can to grab a Monday so I have that we complete. But what I'm going to do is I want this space just because I work outside and it will give me a chance for me to you know accommodate and and get and track again with what i uh with my work as well as him just to have things uh get us prepared for that time so i am planning to start i think it'll be on i think i will start on the 23rd and that will give me this week completely i know it looks weird because it'll be breaking here it will be broken in here but don't worry i will let you know <laughs> how this will work uh, uh, in a second so i will start here so this will be my week one okay and i'll go all the way till here so that'll be week one for us and usually uh, my birthday is in, in August, but it doesn't interrupt anything of what we have for school. So here will be week two. And I think this will last until, let me check. This will last. Uh, hold on you guys, sorry. Here for September. Oh, you guys, I can't even grab the papers. So this will last for September. So I am getting September uh, 1, 2, and 3. And it'll continue here. And let me just look on second for if there's a holiday on September. And we're looking at Labor Day. And here we have for the 6th, our third week. And it says this is Labor Day. I usually try to put it right here because I tend to forget pretty easy. And it looks like this month we're going to be quite well with the days. And I usually start to put in here the days so I know how many days we've been for our 100 day. Where uh, the state where we leave asked for us to have 180 day. I'm going to move a little bit the desk. Sorry guys. 180 days so i am looking for those 180 days okay and in here we are going for our fourth week and it'll go all the way to here and that will give us 20 days and in here will be our fifth week and that will give us 25 days if you hear a noise that's my kid playing with the dog and in here we have our six week and that'll be until the 30 and i think i usually leave a blank if i know that it'll take us uh, until the next month or it, will, it will grab part of the next month and let me check for any holiday there and it looks like it is like 
we don't have no holidays I guess and this will be part of that week six and it'll be our 30 days and then we will start with our off week remember that we're doing six weeks on one week off okay and that will give me a break and it will give him a break as well we can do trips if we want in that time here we have week seven and I might finish Abeka here that's for math and I usually do that because as I say it keeps me account it keeps me accountable of what we're doing and that we continue with week seven then we're going for week A and then we're going for week nine and this week I know Halloween is here but we don't celebrate Halloween so that will not affect us in any way so this was 35 40 days uh, 45 and we're going for October so we don't celebrate a uh, Halloween but if you celebrate it well then you will have to be looking obviously onto um onto that uh, to see how will that work even though it gets on the weekend some people just stretch that celebration uh, so we're going for November let me see if we have any days that we celebrate for November we have some birth birthdays but nothing that interrupts and we have Thanksgiving for this week mm, so we are going for week 10 all the way that'll be 50 and I think that's 50 no I don't remember yes 50 keep talking <laughs> and then we have a birthday here and we continue with week 11 we're going all the way here we have 55 days here and here is veterans day then we have another birthday here and we continue with week 12 all the way until the 19 and that will make us our 60 days and this week we will have off because this will be Thanksgiving week and we do celebrate Thanksgiving it's good to give thanks to God for everything that he has given us so that'll be Thanksgiving and then we will start again with week 13 and that'll be 20 and 30 and we continue with the next month and obviously for December we are celebrating Christmas let me see if there's something else and I think there's nothing mm, just per holiday winter begins and Christmas so we continue with week 13 here all the way to Friday that'll be our 65 in week 13 then we continue with week 14 I don't know if you guys are seeing that well week 14 and that'll be all the way until the 10 and that'll be our 70 days I am not celebrating I am not taking the whole month for December because we start halfway from August so uh, I am just trying to make that even by just starting our week off our half of the month off for December and that's how I will be doing it We'll continue here off uh, some people celebrate and take it the entire month off I usually don't do that I usually just uh, celebrate half of the month take half of the month off and then we just continue uh, so it'll be week 15 go all the way until Friday and that'll be 75 days if I'm not wrong let me 
must be looking here. Sorry guys, I forgot. Did I put that paper right? Um, yep, yeah, 75 days off. Then we continue with week 16. All the way until the 14th, that'll be our 80 days and we're getting closer. Week 17, and it looks like this month will be complete as well. Will be 85 days. Week, look at my K here. Week 18, all the way to the 28th. And that'll be our 90 days. And then we have one here, one day here starting the week, and that'll be our week 19. And we continue for February. And what I do is I look again to the holidays. I don't remember any holiday on February. Oh, yes, Valentine's Day, the day of love and friendship. So we continue with week 19. That'll be on our 9 to 5 day. Week 20. That will be our 100 day. And this day will be off and not really because of the holiday. But I had something planned here and I am taking this off. And then we will continue here with week 21, all the way. And that will make us our 105 days. Then I continue here with week 22. And because we break one, remember, I don't know if you guys remember, it always will continue pretty much with most of the month on the next month. So it'll be one day here and then it will continue with the rest of the month and I'm checking again for holidays. I'm not that good with the holidays. I guess you guys can notice that. <laughs> so week 22 all the way. That'll be our 110. Then week 23. Uh, that'll be our 115. I think no birthday here. Week 24, that'll be our 120. Week 25, we continue. And then this will complete our six. So this will be off all the way. Let me just erase this. And we're going then for April. And April, I think we had some birthdays here as well. Uh, let me just look here. Yeah, I think it's, uh, so we got it off here. Then we will continue with week 26 and we go all the way here and that'll be our 130 week 27 all the way until 135 week 28 and that'll be our 140 and this is where I have here for writing Then we have here week 29 and in here we have a birthday. So this week will be break in those four days and it will continue for the next one. So we still have week 29 there. And we will continue week 29 
here for May. So I am taking here for week 29. And that will make uh, 145. Okay, so that is how I am doing and planning everything because that is how uh, it's easy for me. And then I transfer these to my planner. So then in here starts our week 30 all the way to here. And that will be our, our 150 days and then week 31. And we continue all of that here until here and I will complete our 155 and if you get confused you can put here week 31 and that way you're sure of what you're doing then this week will be off for us and we continue here with this day that'll be off and then week 32 will be here continue all the way till here and that'll be our 160 days. And then we continue with week 33. And if you notice, uh, there's month where we have pretty much the whole month all for ourselves. And then uh, there's no holidays or the holidays we don't really celebrate. So it doesn't affect us. So we continue here with week 33, all the way till here. And that continues here. And that'll be our 165. Week 34, that'll be here to 10. And continue here. Let me go here, week 34, because I just got confused talking to you guys. <laughs> And then here week 35, all the way to 17, and we're getting closer. Then we have week, week 35, that will be our 175 days. And week 36, all the way till here. And that'll be our 180 days. And I usually put here end of a school year. And usually I like to, I don't like to touch July. That's why I start to as well, halfway from August. And if it's gonna take us something, it won't take us that much from the July. You always have to give grace because usually you can, uh, there's six days or you have uh, birthdays that you didn't remember to actually make note of and then you remember and you have to take that off. Uh, six days from work or something at your work that that just take you out of the of what you have planned already so that is how i plan our homeschool year so it'll be pretty much by the end of june that we are going to be finishing i always print july just in case as i said i like to have it at hand what i do with this schedule in particular is i just start looking for the for the days that that we think or that I might think that we are going to be kind of like calculating what we're going to be doing for our subjects. I usually what I do is I draw some squares in here, a little bit separate from each other. And in here I write some of the subjects that we are going to be doing that that are the ones that I'm going to be marking in here either because I am not following exactly a, their scope and sequence or I am doing something different or I just want to know how long it'll take that in, in particular like to calculate so I know when I have to be starting to look into the next ones and this will be off I usually mark the birthdays 
what will be our days off because we need to know that in here i like to know our all about reading and our story of the world our writing and our grammar those are the ones that i am more interested in knowing and how long it takes us and i just start coloring this page so i start by august i mark first obviously the days that we're going to be taking off and that way i know already what i have to be looking so an example in here we have from the 22nd and i just use pink from the 22nd all the way till the 26th and i cut uh calculate Let's say if it's all about reading, I start doing some math with the, how many lessons it has and I start subtracting or dividing for to know kind of like how long it will take us. And I start marking that in here. And what I do is, let's say all about reading is the blue that we have for the book that we have for all about reading now is red. So I use usually the cover of the cover of the book and I start marking from when we start our school all the way till that day, okay? So we start on August and I am doing November for you guys as an example. So I know all of these, oops, is going to be all of our reading that we can do. I think I break the point on this. Let me just grab another one. So I know that this is all about reading, that we have days that we can do. And then I mark all of it until I get to the last page. And I already did his, so I just want to show you guys his because I don't want this video to take too long for you guys. But this is how it looks once I'm, I'm done. So I just start writing in here, make those little squares that I just show you guys. And then I start marking in here our days off, birthdays with yellow and the subjects in here. Kind of like to know around how long it will take us with that subject. And then I start in here. If you notice, the colors are starting to fade, meaning that by that time we have done with some of the subjects and it gives me some idea on when I have to start looking for that particular uh, subject programs that we are interested or that we want or that if we are going to continue with the same program I can start already purchasing books. So guys, I hope this video is helpful. I hope you uh, enjoy what you see in here. So I, I hope you liked it. So if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.